Here we go. I finally found the entrance to the cave. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited to see what's hiding down there. I wonder if this is simply a mining site. Will there be monsters? Let's have a look. Hold your horses. Don't you want to see this from the beginning? I mean, you have no idea what a cave looks like. Unless you've been living under a rock, which is ironic in this situation. This is Asuka. And this guy crashed our ship. Seriously, in the beginning intro video, you set sail on a voyage with a crew of vikings and all of a sudden a wild storm appears. This giant dude appears out of nowhere and the rest is ancient history. So we're stranded on this island and it looks like we're gonna have to start over from scratch. We get to create our own little viking tribe and take on all the baddies in this world. Who knows, maybe this dude will end up being the big bad boss we have to be. I better collect these, we're gonna need them to summon our villagers. There we go. We got them all. Alright. I reckon it's time to scout out the perfect spot to pitch our tents. Give me a place with no bumps or hills in sight. Oh? Okay. Here we go. Take that! So I may be able to throw a good punch, but I think it's about time we start working on our tool collection. First we gotta make some rope. Then the stone blades. And there we go, we got an axe. Alright, time to hunt down some pesky stick monsters to give this a try. Oh yeah, this feels a lot better. Good thing about these guys is that they drop a bunch of materials. And it's a lot of fiber. Which can be a pain to find. Alright, let's find this place. I'm so indecisive. It's already dark out and I still haven't made up my mind. <laughs> I think this will have to do. It's pretty flat. So we can build a bunch of stuff. And looky here, there's a fresh water collector. We can build a well on this one. Alright, let's start with the fireplace. There we go. We got fire. I mean, it's not terrible. It's kind of flat. We could probably squeeze in a bunch of buildings. Plus, it's by the coast, so we can do some fishing. I better upgrade this fireplace. I need sticks. Good. Time to build our first shelter. I'm gonna put it down... Um... Wait, where should I put it? I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh well, right here. All right, need a hole to flatten the ground. Okay, time to cut down some trees and get this thing built. shelter next is the eye of Odin we'll need this thing to summon all our villagers place it right here on the little hill sticks stones and a long stick I think I left a bunch of long sticks up here. Oh yeah. I need a pickaxe to gather some stones. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to be more productive about this and I'm going to mine some Jotun shards with this. They drop both rocks and Jotun blood. That's the blue stuff that you need to summon the Vikings. Okay, there it is, ready to summon our first villager. We gotta add five of these shards. Okay, now we gotta make a choice. So there's Gunhild, I'm totally mangling these northern names aren't I? <laughs> she doesn't seem to like storms, but she's a good hunter. And then there's Sigrid, who's an athlete and a good gatherer. So Sigrid is definitely the one we were going for, right? Okay, now while we wait for Sigrid to show up, I think we need to set up a little gatherer's office for her. And we're gonna plop it down right... Here. Let's flatten it out. Then we just start putting it all together. Long sticks and sticks. This is pretty much how the whole town ends up coming together.
right. We need a bunch more materials for this one. And everything needs rope. But I think we're out of fiber. Let me have a look. Yep, not a lot of rope. Oh, and I totally need to get around to building that well. Can you believe I still haven't done it after all this time? <laughs> I reckon I should probably go stock up on some more fiber and twigs. Oh, there's another villager. I better send someone to the stonemaker's pit. We're running low on stones and we definitely need more. This dude was definitely born to do this. We're at 5 villagers on day 5. The deal is, each time a new villager pops up, it's gonna cost us 5 of those fancy blue stones to summon them. Looks like we're gonna have to roll up our sleeves and do some serious mining if we wanna see this place come together. Wait a minute. What is this? Can I mine it? Oh wow, is this exactly what I think it is? Hell yeah it is! Well, looks like our to-do list just got a makeover. Priority numero uno, let's get this mine entrance rocking and rolling. But first, let me crack this stone up so we can get a new villager. I got a well-earned nap, got the tools and the rope needed for the cave entrance. Let's go build us a cave entrance. There it is. That's the rope. And all we need is one more log. And we're in. Hammer time! Bang! Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited to see what's hiding down there. I wonder if it's simply a mining site. Will there be monsters? Let's have a look. Whoops, I totally overlooked that detail, and I give my pickaxe to one of the workers. Do I have enough to make one? Nah. Okay, so I just had to make a quick trip to the village to grab a new pickaxe. Oh, you can assign workers here. Nice. Alright, time to bust this bad boy open. So basically, if you aim for those cracks, you can really pack a bunch. 
sweet. We're on the fourth wall. This gotta be the last one. What the hell was that? Oh no 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 What the hell are these things? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not that bad. I thought they were going to be super tough. Baby crawler? So is there a big mama crawler lurking around somewhere too? Oh boy. I better build a torch before I head down there again. There should be some stuff left from the tree we cut down earlier. Okay, big bad crawlers, here I come. Oh, shiny. 